These problems are some slightly more complicated problems about averages. This first one says, Timothy's average score on the first four tests was 76. On the next five tests, his average score was 85. What was his average score on all nine tests? Now to figure out an average, what you usually do is you add up all the numbers and then you divide by the number of numbers that you have. In this case, he's got nine tests. So we could do it like this. On four of them, he scored 76. So we could say 76 plus 76 plus 76 plus 76. And then on the next five, he got 85. So plus 85 plus 85 plus 85 plus 85 plus 85. And divide that all by nine. And that works. I want to show you a little bit of a shortcut, though, because what you're being given is sort of chunks. And this chunk, there's four 76's, so that's really four times 76. And this chunk, that's five 85's, so that's really five times 85. And we'll still divide the whole thing by nine. This and this are really the same. This is just an easier way to do it as a little less number punching on your calculator. So all I have to do now is multiply four times 76, and I think that's 304. And 5 times 85 is 425. And when I add those together, I get 729. That's what's on top of the fraction. On the bottom is 9. If I do the division, 729 divided by 9, I get 81. And I always want to, when I figure averages, I always want to look back at the problem and see, does this make sense? He got 76 on some of the tests, 85 on the others. The average should be somewhere in between. 81 is somewhere in between. So that looks like a reasonable answer. So shortcut here is when you have chunks, just multiply by the number of chunks that you have, the number of, of items in the chunk. All right, let's look at another one. This one says, Tracy mowed lawns for two hours and earned $7.40 per hour. Then she washed windows for three hours and earned $6.50 per hour. What were Tracy's average earnings per hour for all five hours? So we're looking for average money she earned per hour. And the two chunks are two hours at 740. We could write 740 plus 740, but I'm going to write 740 times two, because that's the shortcut I was showing you up here. And then three hours at 650. So we could write plus 650 plus 650 plus 650, but I'm going to write plus 650 times three. And that all goes over five. Now I'll uh, punch those numbers on the calculator here. So 740 times 2 is 1480. 650 times 3 is 1950. Add those together and I get 34.3, but we've got to put that all over 5. 3430, let me say. We divide that by 5 and we get six dollars and eighty six cents. Let's go back and check see that that number makes sense. This is an average so it should be somewhere in the middle of these the high and the low values. 740 was our high value, 650 was our low value, 686 is somewhere in the middle. That works out. All right one more here. Another one with uh, test scores or quiz scores. It says after taking three quizzes your average is 72 out of 100. What must your average be in the next five quizzes to increase your average to 77? Aha, uh -huh. so this is a little bit different. The first chunk here is three quizzes where the average was 72. So we don't know what this person actually got on those quizzes, but their average was 72. So you could just say 72 plus 72 plus 72. That would average out to 72. Or in this case, I'll use the shortcut and write three times 72. That's the first chunk. Now the second chunk is a little tricky. It's five quizzes, so our total is going to be eight here, and we don't know what we have to average on that. So I'm going to put a plus here, and it's five times something we don't know. I'm going to say five times x. And then that all goes over eight, and then the other fact I know here is that we want our average to be 77. So this is going to equal 77. Bef before in our problems, this was the unknown. 
Now we have the unknown in here, and I'm going to rewrite this. When you m s multiply by x and you have the t x little x for a time symbol, it looks a little funny. And I'm going to do a little bit of math here too. 3 times 72, I'll figure that out first. That's 216 plus, and I'm going to just write 5 times x as 5x, because that's how they do it in algebra. And then divided by 8 equals 77. Now, here's where it gets tricky. We've got some tough algebra to do. We want to get this 5x alone, so we have to undo all the things that have been done to it. And this might not be obvious to you right now, since you're just uh, uh, beginning with algebra, but the first thing we have to do is get rid of this 8 down here on the bottom. So, to undo this 8, this is a divided by 8, we're going to multiply both sides by 8. So this whole thing gets multiplied by 8, but then the rules of algebra say I have to multiply what's on the other side of the equal sign by 8. When I multiply this side by 8, those 8's just cancel out, which is nice, because then I get 216 plus 5x equals 77 times 8. That is 616. Now, two more things going on here. x is multiplied by 5, and it's also got a 216 added to it. We want to deal with the multiplication last, so we're going to get rid of this 216 that's just hanging out here by subtracting it from both sides, of course, rules of algebra. And what we end up, I'm running out of room on paper, so I'm just going to move up a little bit. 216 minus 216, this comes out to 0, so it's sort of like they cancel, leaving just 5x. And then 616 minus 216 comes out to 400. Last thing we have to do to get x alone, we have to undo this multiplied by 5. So we're going to divide by 5. Have to do it to both sides. Those 5's cancel out, leaves x alone, that's what we want. 400 divided by 5 is going to be our answer, and that is 80. And now let's see if that makes sense, because what we were looking for is what do you have to average on the next 5 quizzes to increase your average to 77. You had been scoring 72. If you want to get up to a 77, you'd need to go higher than that, because you're, you're putting 72's in with the 80's. And 80 makes sense that way. 80 is higher than, than 77. Oops, I didn't get that on the screen. So that is a particularly tricky one uh, with the averages.